No, currently no. So, but that subject to change. We work with a third party when the lease is available. We don't finance the trucks ourselves, but sometimes we have programs to help our drivers, you know, get into a truck. That's what I would say on that. Primarily, it's Tell. If you've ever heard of Tell, Transport Enterprise. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at CFI. CFI is hiring company drivers such as yourself. They got benefits that their top earners are earning 100 k annually. They have regional home, weekly, and OT available. They got Canadian border pay, but as he said in the conversation, they don't have much going up to Canada after COVID. They have a new layover pay starting at $125, a one-time sign-on bonus after your first load, and it pays out $500. All CFI drivers get stop pay, local pay, layover pay, and non-consumer, I mean, consumeritary pay. Driver's referral, if you would like to referral a driver to CFI, you would get a cool $3,000 per qualified driver. You get paid orientation, they have a rider program, they have a pet program, 70% dropping hook, 95% no touch freight, and all of their trucks are sponsored by Ken worth if you want to know more about cfi stay tuned um i'd like to start off by asking uh, do you guys accept sap drivers we can it kind of depends upon the circumstance you know how re how long have you been in this I'm 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 just asking. <laughs> I'm I'm not in the program. So you say that you guys can. So do you guys help with the return to duty status? Right. Like after he's completed the counseling and whatnot. So let me make sure I get this clear. You 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 say that you guys can help with the return to duty status, which is step six, right? Right. How how much experience do you guys require? Just only three months recent over the road. It has to be over the road experience. Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles, or urine, or both? Both. What type of what what type of lanes do you guys run, and do you run Canada? Uh, we don't really run Canada that much anymore since COVID, but the primary business is to bring freight across the Mexican border through a sister company. I run it to the manufacturers in the Midwest and the Southeast. So it's it's old school, long length of haul, irregular route, over the road trucking, you know. Mm -hmm. Mileage pay. You guys pay percentage or cent per mile? Cents per mile based upon experience. I got nine. So how much would I be coming in at? Nine years experience? Yes. Yeah. So as long as it's verifiable, of course, it's W-2. So you get full company benefits. You know, medical, dental, vision insurance, where the company pays 80% of your premiums. You get company match 401k through Fidelity, weeks paid vacation your first year, eight paid holidays, and then we're Kenworth's number one customer for trucks in North America. So you get a good Kenworth T680 truck to drive, but you'd be looking at 53 cents per mile with a one-time sign-on bonus of $500 on your first dispatch. How are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or practical? Practical. Practical. All right. As far as dispatches goes, would it come over my phone or would it come through the truck tablet? Through the truck tablet. Both. Both. I mean, they have a way that you can, you know, be notified on your phone. But primarily the information is through your truck tablet. All right. If I do get the information through my phone, do I get compensated for, for phone use? No. No. How many miles can I expect a week? You know, it depends if you, you could run a regional where you'd be out seven to 10 days at a time, or you can run over the road, you know, all 48 right now. I mean, for it's a little off, I'd tell you to probably budget for 22 to 2,500 miles per week. 
Awesome. Are the dispatch forced? Yes, it's a company driving position. So if you're asked to do something, you know, pretty much have to, to do it. Have to do sure. it. How? I often, mean, you work with your fleet manager and builder. Or how often would you? How often do you think I would make it home? What part of? I mean, you can be out two weeks at a time. You can be out seven to ten days at a time. You can be out three weeks at a time. You can be out three months at a time. Just depends on what you want to do. You know, but the minimum would be seven to ten, run a Great Lakes regional, you know, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri type thing. Gotcha. All right. So, again, I got nine years. Can I come in as a trainer? No. It depends. I mean, you know, we we encourage everyone to train and it's a good way to supplement your income you make 20 extra cents per mile while you have a trainer or a trainee on the truck with you and with that the trainers don't drive they're strictly just riding shotgun observing but typically it depends on you know who you've worked for what kind of experience you have i mean nine years i mean of course you've got good experience but Typically, they want you to come in and kind of acclimate to the CFI way, and then after three months, then you're able to train, you know, something like that, you know. That's just kind of, but every case is individual on that, too. If you're hell-bent on doing it, you know, we can see what what training department will say, if they'll approve it. Cool. Equipment, and what are they governed at? 65, Kenworth T680. Automatic transmissions. You know, average age of the tractor is about 18 or 20 months. All right. Cameras in the truck? No? Yes. 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 There are cameras in the truck. Yes. Yep. All right. You already mentioned the benefits, but what about the pet and rider policy? And how young can I bring my rider? 12. Have to be 12 years old. One rider. Sounds good so far. Do you guys have team opportunities? We do. You know, I mean, yes. You know, we don't have a whole lot. A lot. Most of our teams, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of our teams are like husband and wife. Kind of look at them as like super singles, if you know what I mean. But, you know. What What about lease opportunities? No. Currently, no. So. But that's subject to change. We work with a third party when the lease is available. We don't finance the trucks ourselves, but sometimes we have programs to help our drivers, you know, get into a truck. That's what I would say on that. Primarily, it's TEL, if you've ever heard of TEL, Transport Enterprise Leasing out of Chattanooga. My last couple of questions, and you did mention something about I can't come in as a trainer. So the trainees for new drivers... Uh, do they get paid while they're training? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And how, how long do you think they have to be out with a trainer? Or they have to have graduated from an approved school within the last, what, 60 days. Now, we do not do any training for SAP drivers, yeah. But then they're out for 180 days with the trainer. 180 hours, about four weeks, three to four weeks. All right, all right. And let me make sure I, I, I get this cleared again. I know I asked you before, and I'm sorry for asking you again, but you guys do help with the return to duty status for SAP drivers. Correct, yep. All right, cool. Yeah, as long as you can pass the hair follicle test, you know. All right, cool, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate the information. All right, well, you're welcome. Thank you. CFI, everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have one. We have one that was on the list. And yes, CFI do help with the return to duty status for SAP drivers. There you go. As he said, you have to make sure you pass the hair follicle test. So make sure that you are clean, SAP drivers. Make sure that you clean because when you go in there and take the test, you got to make sure that you pass it. And CFI 
is there to help you with your return to duty status that is step six all right all right so with that said sap drivers cfi they have routes for you they got different divisions unfortunately they don't have that much of a team position and as far as leasing goes they're not leasing at this point of time the dispatches as he said are forced so if you're a driver like me that don't like going up in the northeast i wouldn't suggest to drive for them but for the point of getting your return to duty status cleared take the opportunity to drive with them get that clear drive with them for a while and then you should be good to go on the next go around cfi drivers if you've driven or drove for cfi let us know of your experience in the comments below is it a good company is it a bad company sap drivers have you drove for cfi for your return to duty status let us know how that went in the comments below if you guys like to come on and share your stories about that you can hit us up in the gmail that's lockout men podcast guests at gmail.com drivers get your suggestions in for the next mtc you can do that by hitting the gmail that's lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com or you could just leave your suggestions in the comments below if you like to support the cause you can do that by hitting the cash app dollar sign lockout men let us know who you like to know in the notes and we will send a shout out to you until next time everybody who's next next next, next.